Welcome everyone, Mark here from Uber Hints. Today finds me at Pop Century, a Walt Disney World Resort. That's why I have this giant yo-yo behind me. And in today's video, I've got a question based on a couple of articles I read this week. Now you haven't seen a lot of me this week because I'm on vacation and I don't like to work when I'm on vacation any more than anybody else does. But nevertheless, there was a lot of stuff a lot of stuff in the news about Uber and Lyft this week, so it's going to be a busy weekend. I suspect I'm going to be dissecting and digesting a lot of that information for you. But I want to ask today about two articles that had completely opposing viewpoints. Now, the first one, um, I believe, was in NASDAQ.com. And it said, now is the time to buy Uber stock. It is so low and traditionally these tech companies go through that phase. They have an IPO and then they drop down low and then they level out and they become profitable. And the second one I read was from Forbes. And that article said there is no path to profitability with Uber. That unlike companies like Amazon, they have not shown any profit or any way to get profitable. At some point you have to stop growing and you have to start making money. And they point out there's only two ways to make money, lower your expenses or raise your income and they don't see how either of those things can happen if they start charging more for rides. Other companies will swoop in because there is no customer loyalty with Uber and I kind of agree with that. I ride with Uber because I'm just used to it, not because I have loyalty. If the prices started to go up, yeah, I would no doubt change. And they also said they can't lower the prices anymore, especially with things like AB5 coming into play, um, rates, uh, I'm sorry, a pay, payment to drivers is already pretty much rock bottom. How much further can you go and uh, be able to, uh, to pay drivers to a point where they'll drive for you? So they see no path to profitability whatsoever two completely diametrically opposed points of view. Here's my question for you in today's quick bit. Do you think Uber has a future? Will they be around? We're gonna give it a two year period, okay? Will Uber be around in the form it's in right now in two years? Now the reason I say the form it's in right now, they may completely dispense, here's a possibility just out of my mind, they may completely dispense with rideshare altogether. And by the way, there was another article I read this week from the San Francisco Chronicle saying we shouldn't be using the term uh, rideshare because it's not rideshare anymore. <laughs> it, it, you know, while I agree with the concept, you're gonna, not going to change the, nat the national lexicon, right? So uh, here is my question for you. When I say in the form it's in right now, in two years, they may change to like just a ticket broker. Here's where you can get your tickets for the um, the subway for the buses for taxis whatever because they're kind of going that direction anyway so will it be in the form ride share with drivers supporting a platform in two years yes or no pretty simple question you can expand on it if you'd like and tell me why you think it will or will not be here in two years but that's a question i have for you in today's quick bit as always I encourage you to like and share the videos. Leave your comments down below. If you haven't subscribed, please click my face in the corner to subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to ring that bell icon so you know when I post new videos. This week was a perfect example. I didn't post a lot. And rather than have to come back and continually check, if you click that bell icon, you'll just know when a new video is posted. Thanks for watching. I'm Mark with Uber Hands.